guys, my name's Ruddy. Today we're going to be starting a new series called Flutter Take 5. The first in this series we're going to be talking about how to set up your first Flutter project. So if you go ahead and open up Finder if you're on Mac, let's go ahead and create a new uh, folder. We're going to name it My Project. And once you do that, go ahead and drag that into VS Code. Now, right now it's just an empty folder, so let's go ahead and open up Terminal and run flutter create period. Now, if you're on the master channel, it will add the web and Mac OS folder. If you're not, uh, you're just gonna see the iOS and Android. So first thing we can do is, um, if you're on VS Code, go ahead and install the flutter extension, as well as there's some other useful ones that I like, um, pub spec assist, for example, and also remove blank lines right here. And another one we can do is remove all comments. Yes, there are keyboard shortcuts for all these, but um, I just think it makes it pretty easy. So let's go ahead and type remove all comments, remove blank lines. And now you'll have your basic pub spec. This is where you're going to have all your dependencies for your Flutter project, as well as some information about the version number, name, and description. Um, this is also where we're going to include any assets, but we'll go over that later. So once you kind of get started with your project um, and you kind of remove the, the default boilerplate, what you want to do is go ahead and go into your main.dart. This is inside your lib folder. We're going to go ahead and be prompted to get packages, so go ahead and do that. And once we do that, uh, we can go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and dismiss this. Let's do the same thing as before, remove all comments. And we can format by holding down Option, Shift, and F. So this is pretty great, but still not good for a basic Flutter project. So let's go ahead and create a new folder called UI. In that folder, let's create another one called home. And inside there, let's create a new file called screen.dart. In there, let's go ahead and import material. This is Flutter's package for all the components. Let's go ahead and type st and we'll get stateless. Let's go ahead and type home screen. Let's just give it a default scaffold so replace container or scaffold an app bar we can make it empty for now and a body with a container go ahead and copy home screen we're going to go in here and replace this you'll still be prompted to import this we can use the relative or the fully qualifi qualified import let's go ahead and delete that and once we have that that's good so we started to refactor out some stuff um, if you're running on the simulator and you don't want to show the banner, we can go ahead and hide that. So show, show checked debug mode banner, let's do that false. Let's go ahead and give this a proper title, so my project. Let's go ahead and change this to the default light theme. And if you want dark mode, let's go ahead and give it a theme data dot dark. If you want to manually switch between modes, you can do theme mode dot system. All right, great. So once we have that all set up, uh, you should be able to start Flutter Run. So go ahead and open up Terminal. And you can do Flutter Run dash D Mac OS. This uh, makes it really easy to uh, debug applications faster if you're using the desktop because it doesn't have to spin up the iOS simulator or Android emulators as well. And cool, so we go ahead and have our project. If we go back over to home screen, we can give it a title. And hit R, and it'll hot reload. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.